protest against someone or something that can fight back. I don't see the point in ripping down statues of our history when you've got President Trump and you've got other governments that are alive and well that you could protest against that are doing much worse than has ever happened before. So why are people protesting against statues that have done whatever when if you look at people today and what they're doing, why are we not protesting against them? If we start putting down all the statues of all the former heroes because they've got a dodgy past, then there's going to be no Egypt, no pyramids, no Romans, no anti theatres. I mean, the Romans, they had more slaves than anyone ever did. The Romans had so many slaves. If you start tearing down every Roman, every Roman relic, every amphitheatre, every statue from Roman, what would there be left? That happened way before our time. Why can't we just leave it there and respect our past? And if we know about our past, we can learn against our past to not live our past again. My point is, why not fight against someone or something that is actually worth fighting for? What's the point in putting down statues? You know, they serve their purpose and there's good and bad to everybody. But there's no point living in the bad, they also done a lot of good. I think that the, the statues should be left. And I think we should actually take the argument up with people that are alive right now. So we should leave the Romans, we should leave the Egyptians, we should leave all these statues alone. And what we should do is we should fight someone or something like Donald Trump or someone that is actually doing bad to us right now. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we need to fight against someone or something that will actually get something done. Please, there's a lot of things in life that we can be fighting. Why not find a real someone or a real something to fight against? Something that will fight back. And that to me makes a real man or a real woman shine on.